Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. And everyone is on hurricane watch today. And so uh, Marie and I, we've been watching it real close ever since the last couple of days, haven't we Marie? Right. <laughs> uh, last night before we went to bed, it was showing that the direct path of it was coming directly over where we live at. But when we woke up this morning, the path has shifted just a little bit to the east. And so now it's going to miss us, uh, the direct part of it is. So we'll still get some pretty heavy winds and a lot of rain, but it won't be as bad as it would have been if it went directly over us. Yeah. And so Marie and I, we got up earlier today and we went to uh, our doctor's office to let them draw blood so they can do blood tests for next week when we go for our regular follow-up visits. And uh, we want to just check in with you. This is Thursday morning. The time right now is 11 o'clock. And so I'll try to get this edited and posted a little bit uh, later this afternoon. But Marie and I, we are prepared. We've got everything set up and ready. We got all our batteries charged. All our candles are ready. Mm -hmm. If we have a power outage, we're prepared for it, aren't we, Marie? <laughs> As, as you can be for anything like this. Yeah. What worries me a lot of times is the tornadoes that are spun off of them. So I'm hoping that we, we don't... don't <laughs> no, I hope not. Yeah, now tornadoes, they can't predict those. Right. And uh, Now yesterday we had a lot of rain all day long yesterday and our power did flash about two or three times late yesterday evening. Yeah. But so far today we haven't had any problems with that. Where we live, we're way out in the country, and so if any trees fall on the lines, it could be a couple of miles from here, it could still knock our power off. Right, and yes. we've had our power knocked off before in um, bad storms, and it's been two weeks before we would even get it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah and we've had hurricanes to come directly over where we live before, and it does produce a lot of wind, and it's sort of scary and uh loud and noisy, isn't it, Marie? Yeah, um, the time that we had it all off for about two weeks, that was during, I think it was in the 90s when that really bad snowstorm came through. Yeah, that was the, uh, what we call the blizzard of 93. Right, and so I know that our, the hurricane could also do as much damage as it did uh, back then also, and so I'm always concerned about having the power <laughs> off for two weeks. Yeah, well, I don't think we'll have to worry about that this time, but we just mainly want to let everyone know that we are prepared. We are watching it. We're keeping a close eye on it. And one thing that Maria and I are not going to do today, we're not going to do any cooking videos today or tomorrow, and we're just going to rest and take it easy and keep an eye on the storm just in case if there is a problem or an emergency, and we have to respond to it, we'll have energy and be strong. We won't be wore out to start with. Oh, yes, so. because the hurricane could change again. Yeah. But, and I'm hoping that it doesn't, yeah. but uh, it's not predicted to, but, you know, um, you can't always depend on everything to go just like they say. <laughs> Main thing is we have a lot of friends that's in the path. I've actually got a cousin that lives down close to Panama City, and we've got a lot of friends that's in the path of this hurricane that's coming into Florida, and then all up through Georgia. My uh, granddaughter, Holly, some of y'all know her, and she called him earlier today and told me that her boyfriend is working in Macon, and she was worried and concerned about him. And I told her, I said, well, the storm is going to be coming over Macon, and, you know, but he'll be fine. He's a young man. He can take care of himself. He'll be <laughs> just fine. And so, uh, but we've got a lot of friends all up through Georgia, uh, into Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, Kentucky, and Virginia. And that storm's going to spread a lot of rain all up through that area. So we're just praying for every single person that's in the path of that storm uh, we really do care because we've been through it before. We've had storms to blow trees down uh, in our yard and knock our power out. And mm -hmm. We've been through all that before years yeah. ago. 
but we're just praying for each and every one. We don't want you to have to suffer none at all. We've even had our water um, to, uh, when we haven't been able to get water to in some of the storms because of the power station mm -hmm. um, that pumps our water throughout um, our area would uh, um, be down. And so, um, you know, it just prepares to have some water on hand too. It does. Okay, so we just wanted to uh, check in with you. We're trying to keep this short because I know everyone's doing things uh, their own self to be prepared. And we will come on tomorrow and we'll do another update and let you know how things go overnight. That's the worst part. This storm's going to hit us the hardest uh, overnight. And we had one that came up uh, once before and it was right over our house. Mm -hmm. And that storm, I mean, it it lasted, it seemed like all night. <laughs> I didn't get any rest. <laughs> and uh, the wind was just, you could hear it, you know, and it was just ominous sound. And I can imagine what it is down towards the coast when those things come in. Yeah. So uh, we are praying for all of y'all. And uh, so um, y'all just all stay safe and uh, Kevin, did you have anything uh, else to say? That's all. I just want to let okay. everybody know that we will check in with you tomorrow and we'll let you know how things go tonight. Mm -hmm. And we'll keep our videos as short as possible during this little update for the hurricane. Yeah. Okay, so y'all have a safe evening and night and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. We were young and we were free and running Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young